Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Ecology. Today we'll be looking at Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. This episode will be much more speculative than the Skarmory video. With that video, I had, somehow, considering Charizard's popularity, more to use for inference. Granted, I didn't watch every episode with this line, duh, so that doesn't help. With this line, I'm grasping at straws just a tad, but let's get into it. Starting with the obvious, we have these weird horns. It took me a while of wondering what these were, but Charizard's head looks pretty similar to the real world's ferocious giraffe. The horns on giraffes are called ossicones. They're horn growths that are covered in skin to prevent serious damage. Charizard and Charmeleon, very eager fighters, likely have these for the same reason. They also provide bonus surface area to reduce damage to the head on headbutts. Tails are normally used for balancing across the animal kingdom, but it seems that Charmeleon and Charizard use their tails for combat instead, which is seen far less. They may be able to get away with this because their center of mass is pretty heavy, what with Charizard's big belly. The teeth of the Charmander line are quite sparse in appearances. Charmander is shown with a full mouth of teeth occasionally, and Charizard is mostly shown with a bare mouth save fangs, and one time with carnassals. Real life lizards tend to only have one type of tooth for their whole mouth, but their whole mouth is full of teeth. This makes me wonder if they maybe swallow their prey whole, like a snake which does only have fangs. Charizard's wings are interesting. There are what appear to be cartilaginous tubes running down between the wing membranes. Both seem to be attached to a sort of bump on the wings. Bats have something similar in real life. Phalange, finger bones, separate wing membranes into sections. This provides them incredible flight recovery and maneuverability by being able to manipulate multiple sections independently. Charizard may have a more primitive version of this, where these cartilaginous structures connect to these muscle points to allow for some individual control. The Charmander line seems to live in mountainous areas, particularly in caves. This isn't strange behavior for lizards. They tend to have burrows where they rest at night. However, Charmander's line has an advantage here, their tails. I theorize that their tails act as a sort of metabolic heat, allowing them to stay in these caves for long periods of time. Lizards are cold-blooded animals, meaning they rely on environmental heat while mammals can produce their own. The Charmander's line's fiery tails may act as them producing their own heat, allowing for easier warming of thicker bodies. It may also, or instead, function as a heart. This is supported by Charmander dying if the tail goes out, as well as the whole evolution line's tails flaring during intense combat like a heartbeat raising. Real life lizards are able to control their metabolic processes pretty well. Additionally, they can move blood between circuits and reuse deoxygenated but warm blood to heat up their bodies. The char line being able to use oxygenated and warm blood provides a huge advantage here. With their diet, I'm at a bit of a loss. This is mostly due to a lack of in-game habitat and Skarmory had an obvious dietary requirement, but lack of teeth doesn't help either. Additionally, they could really eat anything. I'm sure they'd need meat for proteins to help fight, but plant matter may also be used for tail fuel. We do have confirmation that Charizard's line, while aggressive, is not villainous. They don't fire breathe unless against a worthy foe, as it causes extreme pain. How would they subdue prey? With the lack of consistently shown teeth, do we write off the few we've seen as outliers, or do we ignore the near empty mouth as it's just animation convenience? Regardless, here's what I think to be the most likely prey. These Pokemon are present with Charmander in the few places where Charmander can be found. These ones are found where Charmander can be found as well, but Charmeleon and Charizard's fiery boulder melting breath and fighting prowess likely help them hunt these Pokemon. Charmander seem to be relatively simple in personality, being curious about hot things. Charmeleons are eager to fight and do so constantly, using their claws to fight and their tails to knock opponents to the ground. Charizard seems to be less short-tempered than Charmeleons, but they still do seek out bigger and bigger fights. They also live in herds with Charmanders. Charizards are obviously phenomenal fighters for Pokemon trainers, but with an ever-burning fire, this likely doesn't see much presence with anyone but serious trainers. And they're also used in Lucario and the Mystery of Mew as military, no doubt terrorizing their opponents with this supposed villainous fire breath. So that was Charizard. Apologies for it being surprisingly short, this line just has little going for it ecologically. Let me know what you think down in the comments and tell me what content you'd like to see. I have someone in mind for the next episode. Someone fortunate enough to give me Legends Arceus footage to use. Leave a like if you did.
subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks and have a great day.